What's up, y'all? I want to do a real casual look at my entire portable solar system. Uh, you know, just casual stuff, fun times. Come along with me. All right, we got two 100 watt Renergy panels going right through this window into my EcoFlow River. I always say Delta. It provides uh, about 100 watts. I don't angle them toward the sun or anything because I don't really want to be bothered with it. And I got all of these shadow problems right here. And then we had like a carpenter bee issue and I wasn't trying to mess with no panels because uh, they are territorial. They can't sting you, at least the males can. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting beside myself. Now let's go down here. Down here, I have two HQST 100 watt panels in parallel. They are going into my garage, following that wire into my EB70. This particular dip right here is a 50 watt energy panel. That's my OG panel. If you've been following the channel, you know how I got that panel. It's on a 20 watt MC4 extension cable and it comes right into my Jackery clone, which sits right here. And it's been doing this for a while. Right now, it's not getting no solar input. It's showing 0%. I guess I can't keep this thing plugged in um, overnight and all that jazz. It's at 34%. Getting 30 watts. I know you can't see that screen. You know, what am I going to do about that? Let's show you the EB70. Let there be light. Let there be more light. This is my EB70. Um, the light is terrible here. It is. I got this cable from Rock Pals. This is a 5521 to 5521 male cable. I'm using that to charge my Go Labs. It's getting 37 watts. That is getting 127, 129 watts, and it's using 100. It's using 100 because it's giving this one 37, and it's giving my fridge over here, um, like probably about 65. Got an extension cord running from that over here. This is a great. Um, low to run because it runs all the time. Now, I got this deep freezer over here. This thing will not run that. It spikes up to 800 watts and then this overloads like many other YouTubers have pointed out. That's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. Let's get beyond that. So I, I want to get back to this because this is an interesting setup. I have these two panels on a Y cable like I said. I think this is the one that has the cable on it. No, it is not. <laughs> This is the one that has the cable on it. You see how short that cable is? So I couldn't do this with this cable before. It was too short. It had to be up, up. You can even see the grass marks where the panels were going from here to here. I let them lay flat. I'm not really bothering with angling my panels up to the sun right now because uh, it's just too much to manage right now, but that's a whole nother story. So what I did was, if you follow me on Facebook, I made a whole video about me considering this cable. I bought a 15 foot cable to extend the parallel to this panel so that I can move these panels easily. So when I have to pull the panels inside, when they were on that tight parallel cable, they were a pain to move because there was no space between them. I don't know if y'all could see how short this cable is, but this is literally it. It's about a foot. So you had a foot between this being about three feet and the other one being about three feet. That cable gets you to like right there. <laughs> that wire goes there. And then you have to have the other panel in it. I was like, I got to do something about this. So I went with this cable to give me some space. That also gives me a lot of ability to move the panel from here to like the edge of my driveway which at the end of the day, that's the last little bit of sun I can get from this direction. So I'm happy about that. That gives me a lot of flexibility. Another thing I wanted to talk about, I, I wanna get a 200 watt panel to ultimately replace these to go into the EB70. But here's the kicker. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the EB70 down in the basement because it can't run that uh, deep freezer. I'm thinking about moving my EcoFlow down here, I have to test, that'll be in an upcoming video. I'm thinking about moving my EcoFlow down here because it'll be able to run that no problem, which is a uh, the inverter on the EcoFlow is a lot better on paper. I haven't tested it, but 
it's, it spikes up to 1200 watts. The EB70 is supposed to go up to 400 watts, but once it hits 800, it's done. I don't know what you do with that. <laughs> Sometimes I take this uh, 50 watt panel and that fake Jackery, the chiffon, and I move it to the front of the house because that's the last place that gets sun. And I'll sometimes have that out there and it'll be running my internet and my TV kind of sort of dependent because it only produces 50 watts. That setup uses about 70. The only reason why it's down here is because I wanted to milk some overcast sun and it was like off and on with raining. So I moved it back here so it could be in the garage safe. It runs under my door. And it's all out here getting some of this wonderful sun. So this one kind of floats. The situation up here is an interesting one because I feel like once summer gets in full tilt, I can't have both of these panels kind of hanging out here like that. Uh, my wife was like, yeah, you can keep one panel out there. She wanted to kick both of them off of the porch. But I was like, "Ah, uh, these Renergy panels, because there's so much, they have such a smaller footprint than those HQSTs down there. I was like, I should be able to keep one panel out here without getting in anybody's way. So here's my dilemma. I talked about how I wanna get a 200 watt panel for down here, but if I got a 200 watt panel and I could put it right there, I'd have 200 watts up here <laughs> instead of 100 watts up here. Here's the thing, I don't need 200 watts up here, but you know, why not? Whatever device is up here connected to this wire can be getting in 200 watts off of one panel the wife is happy. I don't subscribe to happy wife, happy life. I think that's for suckers. But, you know, you want to love your spouse well. The moral of the story is I really need two 200 watt panels. <laughs> Man, this stuff is addictive. Not in a crazy way for me because I have restraint, but you just keep wanting to do better and upgrading. 200 watt panels are pretty much the max you can do on a kind of personal non- home type of solar system that's pretty much the extent for me that's the furthest i would go unless technology moves forward in some advanced way and portable power stations start to be start to be able to take in more which is an interesting point i don't want to get into that too heavy but those eb150s and eb200s they could take in a lot of solar so you're not really limited to these panels down here because they have the higher voltage but that's for another day another video so this is another Y cable, parallel cable right here. I like having them on the inside of the house versus the outside, but that's a whole nother situation because if they were on the outside, it'd be easier to move a 100 watt panel to the front of the house, but we're not gonna get into that. I love a complex life. This wire runs into here and that's my EcoFlow river. Oh, and there's my rock pills charging over the EcoFlow. It's charging over the 12, the cigarette lighter because there's less loss that way versus using the AC adapter. So I'm full on this one. I'm powering my laptop at about 20 to 40 watts and I'm tossing 80 into that. So that's a good time. And the laptop's being charged too. And then in here, I got the router running and the network terminal. I did a whole video about internet off of solar and it's running off of my Bowdens back here, which is pretty cool. It'll run it for a good bit. Typically something is out here in the front of my house. I have to have the power station outside because the MC4 cables are too thick to come in through this door. So I run a flat extension cable outside under the door and it comes in here and then it'll power this whole situation right here. The thing I like about that chiffon is it takes in 100 watts. So if I put that outside with a 100 watt panel, that's enough juice to power this whole setup, internet and TV. So that's, that's good money. I love these little extension cables. I plug these into my portable power stations and this one has a rotating one. So when I have two outlets or even three, this gives me some space away from the portable power station to plug things up. It's really useful on my EcoFlow. I have two of these and they rotate. So if you wanted to use them on a different power station that had an outlet that was twisted or turned in a weird way, this moves around. This stuff is clutch. I'll probably try to put a link down in the um, description. I need to get my affiliate uh, game together. I'm at the point where I'm recommending quite a few products to people. And uh, I'm pretty sure if people find that I have helped them, they would be okay with me getting a little coin from those uh, <laughs> recommendations. No extra cost to them, of course. So I, I like 
options. As you can probably tell, I kind of, I don't flip flop, but I'm very thoughtful as it relates to my setup. Um, I like this setup right now. I don't know what I'm going to ultimately do once I can only have one panel back here. But my EcoFlow that's in the house right here, it doesn't need that much power. I pretty much basically only run a laptop, I charge some phones, and I run my monitor during the day. Now, the downside to that is on overcast days, one panel is just not going to give me enough power. But two panels in parallel does give me enough to be able to sustain my work day, which is cool. I love working off of solar. I just love using solar. So that 200 panel is looking pretty tempting. A company reached out to me about a portable power station that they would like me to look at. Look at? That was pretty cool. So I have to add that to the arsenal. I'm kind of getting to the point where I have more power stations than panels because I'm putting panels in parallel and using them on my bigger portable power station. So I end up just charging power stations from power stations. <laughs> I do want to get another 100 watt panel, but I'm holding off on that because if I get a 200 watt panel, which will probably go down here to whatever power station is on the bottom, that'll free up two panels. But I've gotten to the point where I don't really prefer this form factor so it would free up those two panels i may just toss one of those at the front and keep it in the front but the problem with that is because i can't run wires into my house when it rains i kind of have to pull it back in and those panels man look at them they're they're pretty huge compared to these Renergy ones. I'm gonna start, man, I really like these, the form factor on these. My next video I'm gonna do, which is probably what I record right now, I want to do a versus the Renergy versus the HQST. Mono crystalline to mono crystalline. I may throw the poly in there for good measure, but if you have any questions, man, let me know. I love answering y'all questions down in the comments. You can also email me, take advantage of emailing me while the channel is kind of smaller because I get the feeling that the channel is going to keep growing. And then, you know, time is limited. We only have so much time in a day. All right. So I have holla.